Hi guys, Pablo back with another video and today we are in the village of Tuita de Arriba which belongs to the municipality of Lena in Asturias, north of Spain where we are about to start a trail that will take us to the highest point of the natural park of Ubiñas La Mesa. The name of that point is the Fontanes Peak and we are going to start the trail right now. Okay guys, I will try to talk a little bit about the trail, trying not to choke because this thing is, this path in particular is quite steep, but in any case, this is a linear trail, it ends and uh, starts and ends in Twitter de Riva, covers a distance of around 11 kilometers both ways and has an elevation gain of 1,300 meters and it will take us to the highest point of the Uvinas Natural Park. There are two little peaks, or two high peaks in this case, called Fontan Norte or North Northern Fontan and Fontan Sur or Southern Fontan. I don't know which one is highest because depending on where I check in internet I get one altitude or another. But in any case, since we are going to climb both of them, it really doesn't matter. I think it was around 2,415, 200, sorry, 2,415, 2,417 meters of altitude. And uh, as for the trail, it's pretty much uphill until the highest point. So let's enjoy it together.
Here I found something which looks like a hummingbird, but it is not. It's a butterfly called hummingbird hawk moth. It moves so fast that it is quite difficult to show it in the video. Here there is a frozen image of it to see if it helps. Okay guys, we are in uh, what is called a canal del way. We have to go all the way up over there. As you can see, there is a lot of uh, loose stone and I wanted to mention that uh, it's probably a good idea to be very close to the rock because as you can see in the distance, there are a lot of uh, loose stones and it is very, very slippery. It's very easy to fall down. And if you fall down over there, um, I think it's not very safe. So um, I just wanted to mention this. Also, uh, be aware of the weather when uh, you are planning to make this hike, because uh, quite frankly, if it is snowed, uh, if it is full of snow, I will probably wouldn't go up there. I wouldn't consider it safe. So better to have a look at the meteorology and uh, check that uh, it's all clear like now. In any case, let's continue. A very important thing to consider in this segment of the hike, called Canalón del Way, is that there is a lot of loose stone, and it is very likely that some of those stones will end up rolling down the mountain. If you are hiking with other people, or if the hike is crowded, it may be a good idea to wear a helmet. In any case, please be careful when walking here and let people behind you know when there are stones rolling down. A very quick note for those of you who are afraid of spiders. Be careful where you put your hands when you are climbing.
Okay, friends, we have finished climbing the Canalón del Way and we arrived at the place called Orcada del Fontán, where we have to do a short climb. Here it is important to be extra careful to avoid accidents. Goes without saying, if you have vertigo, it may not be a good idea to continue the hike from this point onwards. Okay guys, we arrived to Fontan Norte, or North Fontan, and we are going to enjoy the views and then we will go to uh, Fontan South or Fontan Sur and enjoy the views there or try to. And then we go all the way back to the car, uh, following exactly the same path we followed to get to this point. Something else worth mentioning is that it takes quite some time not only climbing Canal on the way, but also passing it in the way back. Take this into consideration when planning the hike and make sure you are doing it when days are long to avoid it getting dark in the way back.
Okay, guys, I'm uh, in, very close to the Mayfin Refuge, which means that I have around 40 minutes left to walk uh, back to the car. And so, as I usually do, I will talk a little bit about the trail and then say goodbye. About the trail, I have to say this is not my favorite trail of this particular area. I think there is um, an incentive of uh, getting to the highest point of, of the area, the Fontanes. The views are fantastic, especially in days where there is no fog. I have to say, if you are planning to hike this one, uh, be aware that uh, there is a section of very loose stone that will slow you down quite a lot and requires you to put a lot of attention. I'm saying this because in particular there is a segment of that section that uh, is very steep and has very a lot of loose stone and if you are not careful it is relatively easy to fall down and you don't really want to fall down that particular uh, segment. And on, on the other hand, as I said, you go to a very difficult to reach point or relatively difficult to reach point and uh, get the reward of the views if the weather helps. In any case, I'm going to leave it here and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. And if that is the case, please do not forget to subscribe, like and share and see you in the next one. Take care.